I'm so <laughs> not now. <laughs> so we are ready. Yep. James uh, Morrison, how are you? I'm not too bad actually. Yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> uh, Good. We, we can't we can't stop you singing uh, when I'm come in this room. Uh, uh, <laughs> I I always uh, hear you. It's really cool, but. Uh, uh, you can you can stop. Uh... Yeah, well, I don't know. That's the thing. I think um, yeah, most singers can't stop singing. Really, I think <laughs> I do. My girlfriend's Eddie when we go shopping and that. She's like, shut up singing. <laughs> but yeah, it's infectious. You know, I love singing. It's in your blood. Yeah, it's in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you have a new album. Uh, yeah, it's a release. Uh, it's been released over here. I think already. Yeah. Oh. Um, at the end of, well, I think it was a week ago now. Or maybe it's coming up, I'm not sure, you know. But it released, it's been released in England for a while, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the, the, what does the, the title of your album mean? Songs for You, Truths for Me. Yes. Um, yeah, I thought it was pretty obvious. It's kind of, yeah, it was always just, um, you know, what it meant to me. I, I wanted to sum up what, you know, the, the theme of the album, a lot of it was kind of, built on little kind of um, ideals and kind of, uh, you know, things that I'd learnt along the way, like the, you know, I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's cheesy in a way, but like, you know, stuff like having, having, a, having, you know, having a loving relationship, you know, I find that, I find, you know, I've got a song on there called Precious Love, which is all about, yeah, how precious love actually is and, um, and how much I appreciate having somebody that's there for me. And there's a song on the album called Love Is Hard, which just points out how how hard it is. It's not something that you should take for granted. And um, you know, there's a lot of people that say, "Yeah, we're in love," and then they they end their relationship after about two weeks. Um, but yeah, and there's other songs, you know, like uh, Once When I Was Little is all about kind of holding on to your youth. And um, there's a song Dream On Haley, which is all about kind of um, trying to stay naive and not let people who uh, take advantage of you trust in them and stuff. So yeah, it's just there's all these little kind of lessons in there, you know, that I've learned along the way in, in the past couple of years. So truth to, songs for you, truth for me is kind of, you know, songs for you is, as in everybody else, my girlfriend and everybody else who listens to the album is it, are going to hear songs, you know, and that's exactly what, what I tried to do is write an album full of songs that I feel like a personal to me and and if hopefully you know people can relate to them then that's good as well but yeah ultimately they're just songs songs for everyone else and truths for me that's what it is it, uh, is it hard to show the truth uh, that um, what you are to people through your song yeah i mean i tried to yeah i tried my best to just write songs that felt like they were real to me you know and and, tr and true representations of what i feel and what i've been through um, I mean, obviously, not not all the tracks are ultra personal on the on the album. You know, songs like "Save Yourself" um, and "Nothing Ever Hurt Like You" and they're, they're all kind of uh, songs that are just good to sing. But yeah, I mean, there's there's lines in the song that I definitely relate to. You know, about there's a, like, a couple of lines in "Save Yourself" about kind of yeah, I'm trying to change to make the best for both of us, and but I'm still the same as I ever was. You know, I've not changed too much and. So there's lines that you know I definitely relate to, whether whether it's a personal song or not. I'd like to ask you uh, questions about two people. Okay. Uh, first about uh, Jason Mraz. Uh, uh, can you tell us how the featuring with uh, Jason uh, uh, happened on uh, his album? Yeah. Um, well, I'd worked with Martin Terefi. Uh, yes, I'd, uh, it was the second person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's uh, he basically is a legend. He's a legend, man. I love that guy. Um, he he kind of you know helped me make my first album uh, yes. and made made something I felt really proud of and he he's always working on a lot of stuff you know he's a really he's a really good producer and a good guy to work with so he's always working with new new artists and new people and he, he happened to be working with Jason Mraz this one time yes I, I hear that yeah. um, Martin Terev has yeah. uh, 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 a, a wonderful studio yeah he's got a beautiful studio absolutely amazing I mean it's just such a beautiful place to work. And it just feels really earthy and, and real, and um, and I, I've, I've been, I mean I feel comfortable there. Whoever's there, you know. Uh, but yeah, he was working with Jace Mraz and said, uh, oh, you know, we've got this track um, called Details in the Fabric, and he said, you know, obviously Jason's got a really kind of sweet kind of sweet tone to his voice, and he said, I, I've been trying to find somebody who's got a bit of more of a 
husk to their voice. To create a contrast. Uh, yeah, to create a contrast. And he said, it'd be great if you could, it'd be great if you could uh, do a vocal on it. And I was like, well, yeah, great, man, I'd love to. Do you, do, you, do you know um, there is an, a French artist uh, who actually uh, works with Martin Tereff? He's uh, Thierry de Cara. Do you, do you know him? You uh, maybe um, meet him in I might have met him a couple of times, but yes. I'm, I'm better with faces than I am. <laughs> if <laughs> I saw his face and I'd met him, I'd know. Me too, me too. <laughs> yeah. But no, yeah, that's, that's how it came about, really. As simple as that. Yeah. What what um, uh, so uh, you you uh, it's it's cool because you answer to my next questions about Martin Tereff. Um What does he bring to you um, on this new album? Hey, Martin Tereffi. Yes, Martin Tereffi. Well, I, it was weird with this album. Um, I mean, I didn't really know who I was going to work with. You know, obviously Martin was in the front of my mind a lot because he did my last album. But I really wanted to kind of. I didn't want to do exactly what the same the as same what thing. I did last time. You work with more producer. Uh, I worked on with. This I album. worked with more people. Yeah, um, and I tried some new writers. That some of them worked. Some of them didn't. Um, And it was the same with producers, really. I just, I mean, it was weird. The last time I did my album, uh, a lot of the tracks, actually, um, were Martin's uh, production. But there was other tracks that, that, that the people that I wrote with, you know, Steve Robson and Martin Brammer, great, Egg White, you know, they, they all kind of do their own tracks, really. So, you know, if, if, um, if the tracks are good when it's finished and I'm happy with it, then there's no point kind of reproducing it to make it sound any other way. So uh, some of the tracks I just finished with the writers and some of the tracks I did with mine, um, like Once When I Was Little and The Only Night, um, just because they're more live, I felt, I felt like they needed that live thing. Um, and uh, yeah, and he, he's always good at capturing something special, you know. Uh, but yeah, with the other songs, they were already kind of done, really. Um, and I thought that I was kind of happy with them as they were, even though, um, you know, the live thing is always great. Uh, I wanted to make a more kind of, um, you know, a, not a track sounding album, but, but more, of a, more of a kind of professional kind of sound rather than the live raw thing, you know, which happened last time, which is great. And I love that stuff. But yeah, I wanted to control the, the, the sound of it a little bit more this time. How uh, happened uh, featuring with Nelly Furtano? And why uh, this singer? Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Heart attack! <laughs> this, is the, this is the breakfast. Right. <laughs> Didn't have a clue. The manager, the manager uh, called because uh, we have to finish the interview, no? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Um, what was the question again, sorry? Um, the featuring with Nelly Fortuno. Oh yeah, um, yeah, it was it's great a, it's to It's quite a, a original. Yeah, well for me, um, I just thought it'd be, it'd be somebody, you know, that I like. I really like Nelly Furtado's voice and her, her albums and stuff. Her first album was amazing. And, and uh, even her last album, which was kind of quite produced and tracky and dancey, was still good. I thought she, she's always been one of those people that I've really liked, but she was, I, I picked her mainly be, because I wouldn't have usually put us together, you know? Okay. Me and Nelly Furtado was a, a kind of surprise choice for me as well, so um, that's what I liked about it. It was, it was somebody that I'd like to work with, but in any other circumstance, it probably might not have happened, you know, just because uh, we're so different. But yeah, that's what I liked. I wanted, to, I wanted to surprise people with a collaboration where they'd be like, okay, Nelly Furtado and James Morris, that's a bit weird. <laughs> But yeah, I think she, I mean, she was great, you know, she's a great singer and, and she, she sang really good on the song and I think she's into me as an artist and I'm into her and I contacted her management and I asked them if they would ask her if she, if she was up for working with me and luckily she, yeah, she was like, she was up for it, so. To finish this uh, interview, okay. uh, I'd like to ask a question not to James Morrison, the singer, but uh, James Morrison, uh, the young man. Okay. Um, um, not about music, maybe okay. your other hobbies. Uh, hobbies, yeah. Um, 
I used to go swimming a hell of a lot, but at the moment, uh, I haven't found a decent pool to go to. Uh, <laughs> I do like to try and keep fit, and um, but I've not been very good in the last couple of years. I've been really bad at keeping myself fit, so I'm starting to get into that, but that's not really a hobby. But I like to draw. I love to draw. Draw? draw uh, yeah, draw and sketch and kind of... Um, but hobby-wise, I mean, yeah, apart from that, I mean, I used to do karate and that, but... Other than that, I haven't really got time for hobbies. My hobby is music, you know. That's my, that was always my main hobby was music. So you don't um, uh, you, you don't watch uh, you don't watch a TV show. Oh or... yeah, of course, yes. yeah. But that's not hobbies. That's just like light entertainment, isn't it? I mean, I love watching comedy films and yeah. reading books, and co I, I like I like comedy a hell of a lot. Yeah, okay, I love comedy. What is your favorite comedy? Oh, well, I like dark comedy sometimes. You know, I like uh, I like the old school like Saturday Night Live stuff, like Eddie Murphy, and I like Bill Hicks, um, Dane Cook. He's really good. I mean, Bill Hicks is another league. He's just like quite a political kind of comedian, and he talks a lot of sense, and he's really funny anyway. But <laughs> but yeah, sometimes like Billy Connolly, he's an amazing comedian. Lee Evans, I love. Um, just good comedy, man. You can't beat a bit of comedy. I think, you know, uh, I think it's a harder job than a musician, definitely. You know, to make people laugh. I mean, if if I wasn't a musician, I'd love to be a comedian, but <laughs> I, I'm really bad with timing, you know? <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll never be ever, I'll never be a comedian, ever. <laughs> but, but never yeah, say, I, I've, never I, say I've ever. got a lot of respect pe for people who can, who can make a whole room full of people laugh. It's a really amazing thing to be able to do that. James Morrison, thank you. No worries. So uh, I hope that uh, your album will, will uh, know the same success than the first. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm proud of it. You know, I think it, whatever happens, you know, with sales and all that stuff, if you're proud of an album, that's what's important. Yes. You know, uh, when I'm an old man, I'll be like, I did all right. You, yeah. you, you will... I stuck to my heart and I did what I thought I had to do. <laughs> you will tell this to your uh, children. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Thanks. Cheers.